Hello, my name is Ren, and today we're going to be doing a bite-sized session on how to create sprite sheet flipbooks inside Unreal Engine. So you can see our character here has a little run animation. So in order to create these flipbooks, we have to import a sprite sheet of character images. So if I right-click inside the content browser and import a new image, and this is what your sprite sheet is going to look like. It's going to have the different animation frames. So in order to make sure this is ready for 2D use, we can right-click it go to sprite actions and apply the paper 2d texture settings this makes sure that it has the right settings for being rendered in 2d the next thing that we want to do is right click this new image go to sprite actions and extract those sprites so you'll see this new window pop up which is how we extract sprites from a sheet in this example we're able to use automatic because the alpha is set up in such a way that the gaps allow the engine to see which sprites are individual from each other. Now if that doesn't happen for you, you can go to grid and you can set your grid sizing up appropriately. But for now, we'll use automatic. You'll see every single sprite is extracted into this folder. If we press control and scroll the mouse wheel, we'll be able to zoom in on these. And what we want to do is select the sprites that we want for a single animation. So if I select the ones with his arms up in the air, once I've selected them, I can right click them and create a flipbook from them. So I'll call this run, and then I can double click this and see it inside this new window, which is the flipbook editor. And you can see that this animation is quite erratic. So some of the options we have to edit this include clicking on individual sprites, and dragging the end of the sprite to change the length, we can also do this from the top right hand side underneath the keyframes. If we open the drop down for the first sprite, we'll see a frame run. If I were to set that to 5, I can change the length. I'll set that to 1. We can also click on the drop down for which sprite it's referencing. I can also control and zoom on this. And I can select a different sprite. I can also click on the little down arrow, insert new sprites which will insert an image just before this one and then I can select a new sprite again and I can also delete these sprites by clicking on the drop down and pressing delete. One way to see where large changes in our animation are happening is to use this little slider here to scrub between our frames and what we'll notice is that his legs are open and then they're closed then they're open again and closed again so what we need to do is just reorder these sprites and I can click on one of these and just drag them into the area that I want them to be. If I click play now we'll notice that he's snapping from the first frame which is his legs open to his last frame where his legs are closed. So what we want to do is duplicate some of these frames. So if I were to right click this duplicate the frame it will duplicate it right next to that frame so then I can drag it to the beginning and I'll repeat this process until I'm happy with the flipbook. So if I press play now, we'll see that we've got a nice looping animation. So that's the basics of creating the run cycle. We can also create single frame animations by clicking on a single sprite that we like for, say, the jump. Create a flipbook. We can then name it. And if we double click this, we'll see that it's repeatedly playing the single frame sprite over and over. The next thing we'll notice if we select the run animation and then select our jump that the sprite moves quite a bit based on this pivot point. So what we need to make sure is that the pivot points for each of these sprites are in the same place. The way to do this is to shift select all of these sprites. We can right click them and go to asset actions. And we can bulk edit them via property matrix. The option that we're interested in is the pivot mode. So if I click that, make sure that it's pivoting from the center bottom of the sprite, and I go back to my character. When we select those sprites now, we'll see that our character is always going to be pivoting from the same location. That's it for creating flipbooks inside Unreal Engine. And in the next bite-sized tutorial, we'll be going over how to set up inputs to control our character and how to switch between those sprite flipbooks. Thanks guys, see you next time.